This is your CBS 46 News update. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. Cleanup in Louisiana continues from the devastation of Ida. And although Atlanta is not directly in the path of the now tropical depression, we are already seeing effects here. Meteorologist Jennifer Valdez joins us now with what we can expect. Oh yeah, and it will continue to weaken, but it will bring very heavy rain and tornadoes, or at least the possibility of tornadoes across North Georgia. Tuesdays when we'll feel the biggest impact starting early in the morning and then even through the afternoon and evening we will only be in the upper 70s with off and on rain, heavy at times and isolated short lived tornadoes in the forecast. The highest chance of rain is going to be in the North Georgia mountains. That is where we could see two to five inches of rain. So because of that, areas of north of Rome, Canton and Gainesville have a 20 to 50% chance of seeing flash flooding on Tuesday. On top of that, there's a risk of short lived weak tornadoes. 5% risk of tornadoes within a 25 mile radius of any given point here across most of North Georgia. So biggest impacts of Ida will be very heavy rain and isolated tornadoes. We will be in storm mode at CBS 46 all day Tuesday as that threat of severe weather and heavy rain moves in. Rain comes to an end early Wednesday. Then after that beautiful weather with low humidity and cooler temperatures. Jennifer, thank you. Right now, local organizations are ready to help with relief efforts following Hurricane Ida. As volunteers head to Louisiana, many evacuees came to Metro Atlanta. Georgia Power, one of the many power companies being called in to help. CBS 46 was there this morning as their trucks rolled out. Dozens of crews will be lending a hand in Mississippi and Louisiana. Meanwhile, more crews will be on standby if needed. We're also told there will be plenty of crews staying in Georgia in the remnants of Ida in case they cause any problems. The Atlanta Humane Society needs help finding homes for dozens of animals that were evacuated ahead of Hurricane Ida. The dogs and cats came from shelters in New Orleans and Gulfport, Mississippi. There are currently 39 of them. They will all get medical evacuations before evaluations rather before finding new homes. To find out how you can help, head to CBS46.com. And America's longest war is over. The U.S. completed its withdrawal from Afghanistan, marking the end of a 20-year conflict. More than 2,400 Americans lost their lives during the war, including 13 who were killed just last week in a suicide bombing attack. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.